Hello, my name's Tom and this is Proper Honest Tech. At around £300, Apple's Magic Keyboard isn't exactly a budget accessory and when combined with an iPad Pro, the entire package comes in at around the same cost as a laptop. But there's no denying that the Magic Keyboard adds some impressive functionality to both the iPad Pro and Air. I love it and in fact, you can check out my video review of the Magic Keyboard to see just how much I love it. But like with all Apple products these days, it's easy to miss out on the full potential of the Magic Keyboard. So in this video, I'm going to share with you 10 tips for maximizing your usage and enjoyment of the Magic Keyboard. Tip 1. Change your keyboard brightness. The Magic Keyboard comes with illuminated buttons on the keyboard, just like Apple's line of laptops. And just like Apple's line of laptops, you can change the brightness depending on your requirements. To do this, just head into Settings, General, keyboard and choose hardware keyboard. You've then got options to change the brightness level. Tip 2. Charge via USB-C on the case or the iPad. The iPad Pro and the iPad Air both come with a single USB-C port at the bottom of the device. When you've got your iPad docked onto your Magic Keyboard, that USB-C port will be on the right as you face the iPad. But the Magic Keyboard case also has a USB-C port, and that's thoughtfully been put at the top of the Magic Keyboard hinge, meaning it sits on the left as you're facing your docked iPad. That means that for the purpose of charging, you've got the option of either plugging directly into the iPad on the right or the Magic Keyboard on the left. Tip 3. Make use of both USB-C ports at the same time. A similar tip to tip number two, you now have access to two USB-C ports, albeit with one very important caveat. The USB-C port on the Magic Keyboard is for charging only due to its inability to pass data to and from the iPad via the connector built into the case. But what this does mean is that with the Magic Keyboard, you can charge your device using the USB-C port built into the Magic Keyboard and still have full access to a USB-C port for data purposes on the right. So if you need to charge your iPad and access a storage device at the same time, for example, you can now do that using the Magic Keyboard. Tip 4. Easy access to emojis. If you're a fan of emojis, the Magic Keyboard is your ultimate Apple accessory, giving you access to these bright little icons quicker and more easily than ever before. Just tap on the globe button at any time while typing on the keyboard and your iPad will display the emojis menu. Choose what you need and away you go. Tip 5. Multi-touch gestures on the trackpad. The trackpad on the Magic Keyboard is fantastic. It's small when compared to a MacBook, sure, but it's incredibly effective and allows you to do almost everything that you can do on a Mac. And that includes using multi-touch gestures. For example, swiping left and right with four fingers will allow you to jump between apps. Nudging up with three fingers shows you all of the apps that you've currently got open and allows you to then swipe up with two fingers to close individual apps down. Swiping left and right with two fingers allows you to move around pages or scroll up and down on a website or email. It's basically just like you're used to on your Mac, which is great if you're already familiar with the Apple ecosystem, as there really is no learning curve. Tip 6. Use tap to click. This was one of the first features that I insisted on switching on when I first got my Magic Keyboard. By default, if you want to click on something on the trackpad, you have to push down until you hear the familiar clicking sound that comes with most trackpads. I personally hate this and much prefer tap to click, which just requires the lightest of taps to register a click instead. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you've got it figured out, it's a game changer. To access this feature, head into Settings, then General, then Trackpad, and ensure that tap to click is switched on. Oh, and you can also switch two finger click on or off here, the same functionality that allows you to access a right click function using the trackpad. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's great and I use it all the time. Tip 7. Use the regular command keys that you're used to on Mac. This might be super obvious to many people watching this video, but if you're still pressing down on the screen of your iPad to get access to things like copy, paste, etc., you don't have to do that anymore if you've got your Magic Keyboard connected. The command button on your Magic Keyboard functions in exactly the same way that it does on your Mac, so Command and C, for example, will let you copy, Command and V will let you paste. Easy. Tip 8. Get your escape key back. Now, I personally don't often use the escape key, so I'm not that bothered about losing it on the Magic Keyboard. 
but some people really rely on it. And for those people, modifier keys is a function you're going to want to check out. It allows you to change the function of some of the keys on the keyboard, swapping in features like escape. Just head to settings, then general, then keyboard, then hardware keyboard, and choose modifier keys. You can see, for example, that the globe button, which we've already mentioned, is used by default for emojis, but could instead be used to give you back that all-important escape key. Tip 9. Hold down the command key to be able to see all shortcuts. The problem with using keyboard shortcuts is it can be difficult to assign all of them to memory. Thankfully, the Magic Keyboard helps in the way of allowing you to hold down the command key for a couple of seconds. A little box will appear on screen showing you all of the Magic Keyboard specific functionality available to you with the command key. Tip 10. Customize the cursor. If you're finding the on-screen cursor difficult to view and keep track of, the good news is that you can make a number of visual changes, making the cursor much easier to see. To do this, head into Settings, Accessibility, and then Pointer Control. Here you can do things like switch the hiding of the cursor on or off, increase the contrast of the cursor making it less transparent, put a color ring around the cursor, and even change the scrolling speed. Bonus tip. Use the magic keyboard as an easel. You might find this one a bit corny, but if you like to write or draw on your iPad using the Apple Pencil, you can flip the iPad around while still on the Magic Keyboard, creating a slight tilt to your iPad, which will automatically rotate the screen. You can now grab your Apple Pencil and write handwritten notes or draw. So there you go, 10 tips plus a bonus tip to help you get the most out of your Magic Keyboard. What do you think? Was there anything here that you didn't know? And are there any tips or tricks that you use with your Magic Keyboard that I've not included in this list? If there are, do drop me a comment and let me know. I'd love to hear how you use your Magic Keyboard. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, do please consider leaving me a like and subscribing to my channel for more content like this in the future. See you on the next video.